On this problem, we have a sample, and it's a container containing a large number, unspecified number of ping pong balls, and there's 75 balls taken from the container, and these are taken at random. Uh, it doesn't mention that, but it just says taken from the container. Uh, they weren't taken in any systematic way, but they were marked the blue dot, and then returned to the container, mixed the balls, and then take 75 more, and of those 75, 15 have blue dots. So to use this to estimate the total number of ping pong balls in the container, what type of sampling is this? You can find some of these in the book. Uh, let's eliminate some. So here the consensus, uh, or the census, is looking at every single uh, ball, and in this case we did not look at every single ping pong ball, so that's out. Uh, this is not a survey because it was conducted twice or a controlled study. You can find these in the book. Um, so let's go ahead and look. Their capture recapture is not in the textbook. So what I did is I looked it up. Um, and you can, of course, look at the different samples here inside the textbook. But again, that capture recapture is not there. So I looked it up on Google. And here is uh, the Wikipedia page. And this one's labeled Mark and Recapture, but this is also called Capture Recapture. Um, and just reading this, it's commonly used to estimate an animal population size, where it's impractical to count every single one. A portion of the population is captured, marked, and released. Later, another portion will be captured, and the number of marked individuals within the sample is counted. This is number of marked individuals uh, within the second sample should be proportional to the number of blah, blah, blah. This is exactly what happened in the ping pong, uh, ping pong ball ex uh, experiment or uh, sample where some balls were captured, marked, thrown back in, mixed, and then counted. So that's why we're going with capture recapture here.